how's it going everybody hope we're all doing all right today i am back at long last in my happy place sorry about the uh delay in upload content and being quiet on the channel been very very busy at work and any time that i do really have off um i'm really playing catch up with all my animal jobs but back out today and i'm going to attempt something not attempt i'm going to do something that i've been toying around with doing for quite a while now and it should make for an interesting video so once and for all put this debate to rest about the prototypical bigfoot footprint being very common to find i am going to walk home barefooted from my den all the way to my front door just to prove that that perfect trail of bigfoot footprints is a super duper rare thing to find so if you want to uh, stick around and sort of uh, you know peer at my weirdness uh, please do Tell you what guys, spring is well and truly here. Um, it's been, the last time I was actually in this woodland was when I sadly discovered my den had been destroyed. So it'll be interesting to see what it looks like today if uh, the perpetrators have been again. So I'm saying all I did was tidy it up and uh, you know, I didn't bother to rebuild it. Uh, so yeah, um, but the last time I was up here, everything was still quite, everything was just opening up you know and as you can see right now the the leaves on the trees they're that nice lime green color because they're just opening bird songs are in full effect really really nice today um and this is what i was really looking forward to obviously when i started this channel a while ago it was uh october you know, so that's when things are the opposite of this and they're dying down. And then the vast majority of my bushcraft videos have always been during the winter. Uh, which has been interesting. You know, like, I've had a few interesting challenges, haven't we? You know, like, along the way when we cook burgers in the snow and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I was really looking forward to when the weather picked up again. Because, you know, there's no place like the woodland you know, like spring and summertime. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see. Another thing that I wanted to uh, just quickly mention, Bigfoot related, was uh, on the Facebook page, British Bigfoot Researchers, which if you are not a member of, I highly recommend it. It's a great page. for the like-minded folk who are into these, you know, cryptid topics and what have you. Somebody posted something the other day, uh, like a status, Disgusting when people have a sighting of a Bigfoot type creature or a dog man or whatever, they go quite distant. And I thought, right, I'm going to put my two pence worth here and into this. And to tell you the truth, like I, I, I didn't want to be that person who had the other opinion, the opposite opinion of everybody else. But honestly, when when I obviously after I had my sighting in t uh, 2018, um, if anything. It made me more obsessed with the subject uh, and I wanted to see one again, you know, if anything. Like, obviously, at the time, I was quite, you know, when it happened, I was frightened, you know, it shook me. But within a couple of days, I was back out there, you know, and I went to my, where I had my sighting, took my tape measure to measure the estimated height, mum, <laughs> um, you know, my notepad and all that sort of stuff, and took pictures for reference. And yeah, um, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of like discuss that because I thought it were 
interesting, really. Yeah, didn't really... If anything, I became more determined to speak the truth about these things. You know, because people have a right to know on planet Earth that we are not the only species of human that still exists. If Bigfoot is another type of human, that is, of course. It might be an alien, might be an undiscovered ape, might be an interdimensional being. Who the hell knows? So one thing uh, I did actually bring up with me today that I've been in dire need of uh, having a bit of a play with is this. <laughs> Erotic Bigfoot fiction. Um, little birthday gift that my sister bought me at the end of March. And uh, it's just like a blank diary like that. But the aim is that you fill it with your sort of deepest, darkest secrets about Bigfoot and all things related to the subject. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have a little play around with this today. I've got my book, I've got my flask. Just chill out for a little bit up here and then make my way back down in Barefoot. So, yeah, it should be an interesting day. <laughs>
So I'm back home now, um, been home for about an hour and a half or so now, so to sort all my, give me chickens, <laughs> I'd sort them out, sort my pets out, um, and yeah I'm just obviously washed my feet as well, because <laughs> they were filthy, um, yeah it was pretty good that, I enjoyed that, uh, the most tricky bit was coming into Whitton Park, down the steps, because the pathway is littered with tiny little stones, obviously for shoe grip, and that wasn't very pleasant on bare feet. But other than that, it, it was fine. You know, I, I didn't really, it didn't really bother me that much. Like I got the sensation, I got used to it quite quickly. Um, and like every so often, I was just checking to see if my feet were leaving any footprints, and they weren't. They were barely leaving any impressions. So from that. I still surmise that these alleged Bigfoot footprints that I found, the perfect ones where you can clearly see what it is, that, you know, it's something of massive weight that's leaving those tracks, whatever it is. Of course, we all know what it is on this channel. So our big hairy giant friends. <laughs> but yeah, um, glad that I uh, got my challenge done for today. And uh, yeah, uh, if you've made it through all the way to the end of the video, as always, massively, massively appreciate it. Um, if you've any thoughts yourself, leave a comment if you want. 
um, if you've not already subscribe if you want to uh, like the video share on your social media all that hot jazz and uh, i'll see you all hopefully for it, hopefully soon and uh, further on down the road bye bye